to another Sunday reset. I love these videos. I enjoy my Sunday resets because they basically are the day that I get everything done that I need to reset for my week so that it is productive and I have a clean environment, clean mental space, clean emotional space. So this morning you saw, I made my lemon water, my coffee. I did my devotional, but it was a little bit different this morning because I just had a lot on my heart and I just felt like I needed to Pray. Sometimes when I pray, I'm not able to say it out loud because when I say it out loud, it becomes too real. So sometimes I like to write my prayers down and then go back and reflect on when I'm ready to say it out loud. But I know that God searches the depths of my heart and he already knows. Later on today, I will actually read my Bible and go in because a goal of mine is to start getting better at scripture. So I will be doing that later on today, but I'm having a great morning. I did something yesterday and I just feel like it can only go up from here. Like, you know, when you just spend struggling or wrestling internally with yourself about things that you know are right and things that you know that are wrong and you still continue to do the wrong thing because you're comfortable right that's something that I've been struggling with for the longest time and I did something yesterday and now I feel like I'm free so I don't know I just had a lot on my heart and on my mind because I'm still feeling a little like uneasy but basically that's a part of the journey but anyways not to get too deep into that so today on my to-do list i have a lot to do kind of hold on i have a card okay so i got my cards so listen i usually have to write everything down because i'm a psycho but i have to do laundry i actually have my bedding in the washer and dryer right now that's the first thing i need to do i've done laundry over the last couple of days but i refuse to fold it i'm going to meal prep at some point because it's sunday and i always meal prep on sundays i need to clean my living room slash kitchen area then the bathroom and then just go into my bedroom i also think i want to move all of my winter clothes from out of my closet and put them in a bin and put them downstairs in the basement and bring up all my spring clothes spring and summer clothes so i think i'm going to do that basically i'm just going to be cleaning my house i do have a nail appointment today at noon which is so exciting because i didn't know nail salons were open on sundays but i got an appointment today which i'm so excited about so i'm gonna go run that errand and then i have to get gas at some point because i'll play myself and then i'll be on my way to work in my car just shut off because I don't have gas. I remember that from last night, I don't have gas. I'm just gonna be taking it easy. I'll do some self-care today. Maybe take like a bubble bath and like do some skincare, maybe do a mask. I don't get to do those very often. But yeah, that's pretty much like what it is. I also, in some point of the day, need to write in my planner for the week, just my agenda, write out my workouts, my workout split. And I just kind of format my day and what needs to get done in my planner in terms of work, in terms of YouTube stuff, in terms of just life stuff, appointments, everything. So I need to do that at some point but yeah so I think I'm gonna go ahead and start cleaning up my living room space and then I'll move to the bathroom and then I'll have to get ready and go to my nail appointment because it's already 9 45 in the morning and I need to leave like 30 minutes before I know that traffic will be high during the time that I have to travel so I will go ahead and do that I didn't go to the gym this morning I want to go maybe I'll go a little bit later I usually try not to go on Sundays because it's the Lord's Day I try to just rest I haven't gone to the gym many times this week because my schedule is a little bit chaotic but I do want to go today but yeah so let's go ahead and just jump into what I need to get done and then I will talk to you guys when I'm probably gonna start running my errands because what am I gonna talk to you guys about while I'm cleaning you know what I'm saying, you know saying? alright let's get into it
so as you guys can see i am in my car i am getting ready to go get my nails done i'm sorry about the lighting it's really bright outside but i just pulled up to my nail salon so my appointment is in about 12 minutes so i had a little bit of time to kind of update you guys had a little bit of a setback this morning my phone hasn't been charging itself it was on the charger all night last night and it only got to 29 percent and i was like filming my intro and everything and my phone just died so i've literally just been waiting for my phone to charge and it's just now getting to 27 percent so i don't know what's going on so i probably have to go to the apple store maybe today or tomorrow to get a new charger maybe i'm getting ready to get my nails done i'm gonna miss these french tips because they were fun they were cute but um i'll show you guys what my nails look like when i'm done i probably won't be able to vlog it because my phone battery is atrocious right now i don't know what's going on so this is like the only errand aside from gas i'm gonna get gas after the nail salon and then that's basically it'll probably just be in my house meal prepping cleaning and cooking for the rest of the day so i'll talk to you guys in a minute <laughs>
on. I also just remembered that I didn't come back on here after I got my nails done, but we got some new nails. We got like this little like gradient of like nude so from darkest to lightest and this like cute little like white detail on the side. Um, I'll insert a picture so you can see it. But today was such a productive day. Now it didn't happen in normal fashion because I was having a little bit of a phone malfunction. My phone wouldn't charge. So I'm gonna take my phone to Apple tomorrow because I can't get it to charge past 37%. It halted my filming today because like it cut off during the middle of me making my breakfast. So I think I have to refilm that tomorrow i'm not 100 percent sure but this is the reality this is the reality of creating content like you have these mishaps you know anything that can go wrong or will go wrong especially with technology but i did get through everything that i needed to get through today i do apologize for my appearance this is not what i look like a lot of the time but i'm just like spot correcting with a mask i guess anyway so let's look at my list because you know i like to write things down so i washed my bedding and made my bed wiped around the house folded laundry i ended up taking out all of my winter clothes and putting them away and then unpacking my spring and summer clothes and putting them in my closet i don't think i filmed that though because my my phone was down but i did that today i meal prepped partially i have off tomorrow tomorrow's memorial day so i have off so i'm gonna actually meal prep tomorrow but i did all of my veggie prep so like i don't have to chop anything for my my meal prep video tomorrow i can just literally assemble things and it'll be great so i did that which is gonna take a lot of the cook time or prep time that i have to do tomorrow when i film my meal prep video i washed the dishes prepped my fruit for the week i swept and i mopped clean the bathroom clean the kitchen and living room i'm doing a little bit of self-care with a little face mask i'm doing like the amazonian clay or the aztec clay i can't remember which one it is i'll insert the name somewhere but i'm using that with a little bit of apple cider vinegar so i'm now i'm starting to feel that like pulling sensation in my face i'm also having some tea i did my devotional this morning and then i was reading my bible i'm gonna go back and finish reading because i'm reading the book of revelation right now and y'all this is steamy. The last thing I need to do is write in my planner, basically my schedule for daily tasks. So we like my devotional time, my gym split, what to do for work. My grades are due this Friday and then we have one more week of school and we're done. I just can't believe that my babies are going to be graduating from the eighth grade and leaving me. I can't believe that I've had them for 180 days or 180 school days. I'm not an emotional person, but this one's gonna, this one's gonna be tough for me. Okay, this one's really gonna be tough for me. But anyway so i have to fill out my planner and i'll show you that in a little bit but i'm just gonna be here trying to get pretty or whatever and sipping my tea i always get questions about this tea it is the three ballerinas chinese tea tiktok made me buy it and i don't recommend it i mean i recommend it because it is good at what it's supposed to do it's like a detox tea literally like once you let it steep and you start drinking it i have to go to the bathroom like 15 minutes after i take it and sometimes it really does give you stomach cramping so i try to take it at night to kind of sleep through that and in the morning i'm like ready to go but yeah so i'm just gonna be here chilling today was definitely a productive day but you know what there are some things that you didn't see i don't know about other content creators right but like it is a lot to be just like putting the camera up and filming every single thing that i do so what you didn't see today was that i went and got gas i forgot my tripod i also couldn't film on my phone because my phone needed to be hooked up to the charger at all times or it was going to cut off so i wasn't able to take it out of the car and show you that i got gas but i did get gas i also watched a movie and then i took a little bit of a nap because i was tired i didn't go to the gym today because it's like usually my rest day i was gonna try and do it but i was like you know what? no just take a rest we'll hit the gym hard tomorrow morning so that's what I'm gonna do. But yeah, so this is basically it. I'll insert some footage of me filling in my planner, how I do that, and then I'll be back for my outro, I guess.
skincare and I'm not gonna lie, my face burns, okay? It's burning wherever I have that mask. But I guess that's a good thing because now my pores are open and it's ready to receive all my products. I will link everything down below in the description box, but I basically use the Urban Skin RX Melanin Experts line and I use the Clear and Even Tone Clarifying Glycology Pads, which is not new. The Retinol Rapid Repair and Dark Spot Treatment, which also isn't new, but I just picked this up two days ago from Target. It is the Complexion Protection, Complexion Protection Moisturizer Broad Spectrum SPF 30 Sunscreen for all skin types and it promotes an even tone. So I can't wait to see how my face is with this. I also use the CeraVe Facial Lotion, but this one is different than the last one I had and it kind of leaves a little bit of a white cast, but when I mix it with all my other products, it doesn't do that. So it's really fine. But this is basically going to conclude my entire Sunday reset because everything that I need to get done and then some got finished today. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Also be sure to turn on your post notifications. That way you can be notified every time your girl drops a new video. And until next time, babes, I'll see you in my next.